have a word. Hi. A pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. I am the witch, Rena. I'd heard tell of a Tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon looking into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. Thou art possessed of the power, no? To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. I can call him. Ah, as I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee, by Torrent's former master. Tis a bell for calling forth spirits. Summon them with it. From ash and return to the earth tree, the spirits will obey thine command but briefly. As they recall battles past, now it is thine to do with as thou wishest. Forgive mine intrusion, Tarnished. I doubt we shall again meet. But all the same, learn well the lands between. How long will it be, I wonder, before the tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers? Ah, always a pleasure. The howl of a wolf in the mistwood. I suppose he must still be skulking about. I know. Why not meet him for yourself? Next time you hear the wolf's howl, make this signal right under the source. Oh, don't fret. There is nothing to fear. I just have an inkling the two of you might hit it off. Goodbye for now. Hi there. Who goes there? Carly sent you, did he? Ever the bloody busybody. Hmm. Maybe to him you don't seem so strange. The name's Blythe. I'm looking for a man who goes by Darrowell. He fled somewhere nearby. Or so I've heard. Come tell me if you find him before I do. I can offer you ample reward. Darrowell is nothing but a traitor, and in need of a fitting end to his tale. Darrowell is nothing but a traitor, and in need of a fit.
Wait. There you are. Hard to work for it, but it's done. Don't say I'm not a man of my word. Here's your prize. Oh, yes. I should say. If you venture north to Rey Lucaria and come across a venerable blacksmith who's a little on the large side, tell him I sent you. And he'll be sure to treat you right. I owe you one, I reckon. That's enough chit chat for now. It's time we parted ways. Okay. Again we cross paths. I believe I said my name was Rena when last we met. It pleaseth me to see Torrent hale and hearty, but tarnished. What business hast thou here? I have no memory of inking thee an invitation. No reason in particular thou claimest. Intriguing. Then mayhaps fate hath steered thee to this reunion. Hmm. Wilt thou enter into my service? I am the witch Rani. I stole death long ago, and search now for the dark path, that I might one day upend the whole of it, and rid the world of all that came before. Well, has that roused thy interest? I see. A choice well made. Thou art a rare sword. Not many would have accepted the offer, but I require as much of those under my command. I anticipate good work from thee. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is, in my service, a half-woven warrior by the name of Blythe. I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the Eternal City. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him the particulars. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor, and Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts also. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them. What advantage thou canst. I am sure the others will be doing just the same. Speak with the three who await thee below. Thou needst not indulge them unduly. But they too wish to appraise thy worth. It hath been a passing long time since a newcomer entered my service, after all. Speak with the three who thou needst not indulge It hath been a I see. You must be Rani's new hireling. Yes, yes, I've heard all about you. I am Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts. I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a provincial tarnished like you, but since we have the misfortune of serving the same lady, I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all down with you. I reside in another tower close by. Come and pay me a visit. Should you wish to be of actual service to Mistress Rami, if it were up to me, I wouldn't waste my time on the likes of you. But who am I to stand against the wishes of my lady? I reside. Come and pay me a visit. Should you? If it were up to but who? Oh, so you were the one. Lady Rani has explained everything. Again, I am Yiji, 
the Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith and Lady Rani's war counselor. I am told that you are searching for Nokron with Blythe. I will give you whatever guidance I can and pray for your success. Let us give all that we can of ourselves, together, for Lady Rani. Let us give together. Speak with the three who await thou needs not. It hath been a pact. Long time, friend. Blythe. Have you forgotten? Glad to have you in the service of Mistress Rani. Well, getting right to business. I'm still in Limgrave. The eternal city of Nokron lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. I'm planning to go below through the well in the Mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron from there. I'm going below through the well and see if I can't. Don't keep me waiting, eh? to forewarn thee. I shall soon enter my slumber, and it will be some time before I wake. This doll's body is not without its hindrances. Still, I have high hopes for thee. I look forward to the good news when I arise. I shall soon enter my and it will be some time before I, I have high I look forward to the good Did you not realize I was merely being polite? Oh, you provincials never cease to amaze. Uh, I suppose you're here now. Perhaps I'll give you something to do. I'd like you to find a woman called Nefeli to administer a potion. Even you can do that much, can't you? Good, good. Now I shall hand over the potion in question. Find Nefeli and ensure she drinks it. I expect glad tidings, and soon. Ah. Good to see you. Apologies, mate. 
But I don't have much to report. I can see bloody Nokron right above me. But I'm absolutely stumped. I've tried all the gateways, to no avail. Perhaps it's time to ask Celebus. And recall that spiteful little rat acting like he knew something. Let's give him a squeeze. Show him just how sharp my teeth are. I jest. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Besides, uh, I should check on some things here. Leave this place to me. You just do what you feel is right. If either of us learns anything, we tell the other. Right? Leave this place to me. If either of us learns anything, we reach some of us where we get. Begging for another lesson so soon? Ugh, the remains. Well, well. You're asking me about that, are you? The task was left to you and the mongrel, was it not? Not only are you incompetent, but shameless to boot. Well, there's no helping it. Now's as good a time as any. I'll let you in on it. There's a glintstone sorcerer by the name of Selen in Lingrave. She owes me for the help I gave her when she was expelled from the Academy. I asked her to look into the matter some time ago. I'll write you a letter of introduction. Go ask her. you are. Shall we commence the last? Well, well. Celebus is not a name I ever wanted to hear again. But fine. If it will help you, my apprentice. I offer my knowledge. The stars alter the fate of the Carian royal family. And the fate of your mistress, Rani. But long ago, General Radan challenged the swirling constellations. And in a crushing victory, arrested their cycles. Now he is the force that repulses the stars. If General Radan were to die, the stars would resume their movement. And so too would Rani's destiny. Rani's fate is kept in stasis by Star's Curse Radan. That reminds me of something I heard. There's a festival being held at the castle on the southern edge of the Caled Wilds, east of Limgrave. It's a festival of combat. And I heard that you can fight Radan himself. He who was once called the strongest of all the demigods. Maybe it's just a coincidence, but I think it's worth investigating. I'll be on my way to this festival of Radan. You're coming too, right? To Radan's festivities. Oh, yeah. I'll meet you at Redmain Castle in Caled. The way ahead is pleasingly simple. We fight, sword and fang. You're coming too, right? I'll meet you at Red. The way ahead is pleasing. Ah, oh, hello there. It was a battle marvelously fought. You are well and truly a champion, friend. I, on the other hand, am nothing but a croc. One hit was all it took to crack me, and for my inside to come spilling out. After that, I hid like a coward. 
And as such, I can hardly stand to face one such as you. are all made up. I'm waiting for the curtain. Let's give them a show to remember, eh? Just don't you go dying on me. For Rani's sake, too. Into the fray together, eh? <laughs> Let's see what you're made of. Into the fray together. <laughs> Let's see what you... Champions! Welcome! The stars of aligned... The festival is nigh! General Radan, mightiest demigod of the Shattering, awaits you! Champions, prepare for battle! Defeat the General, claim glory, and grab that great rune! A celebration of war! The Radan Festival! Ah, you came. How delightful. Indeed, I thought I might find you here. By the by, do you know for whom this festival is being held? Well, it is none other than General Radan himself. To think, I could face a great champion of the Shattering, a demigod in the flesh. Oh, God. In truth, I quiver at the thought. Such is his frightful repute. But the fear simply assures me the ordeal is worth undertaking. Be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. I, Iron Fist Alexander, do hereby vow to unflinchingly brave this ordeal. Be sure to get a good vantage. I. Don't you think I've given up just yet? As luck would have it, there's a veritable mountain of warriors' bodies right here. If I can just squeeze this bunch down inside me, I'll be a mighty warrior again in no time. And you know, the bodies found here are exceedingly fine. Who could expect any less from the very warriors who fought in the Shattering? The greatest of all wars. Hm. Just you wait and see, friend. I'll grow even stronger. Just you wait when next we meet. <laughs> the bodies found who could expect it. <laughs> Just you wait when next we meet. Ah, good. I was waiting for you. Oh, what a sick way to fight, eh? The glory of the clash is shared. By Radan. And you. And ha, <laughs> did you see that afterwards? A falling star right before our eyes. I can't fathom how Radan was holding back something of that scale. He was a living legend if ever I saw one. And the path has now been cleared. To Nokra, where Rani's fate will be decided. Let's meet where the falling star bit the earth. We'll take up our souls once more for Mistress Rani. Let's meet with a fallen star and we'll go into battle again. My only purpose is to fight for Rani's fate, sword and fang. The curtain's rising. And the final act. Let's meet with a fallen star and we'll go into battle again. My only purpose is to fight for Rani's fate. The curtain's rising. Oh, it's you. It's me. Bye. Old E.G. Trotty here. Told me to bring north the bell to Lady Rani. But there's no chance that could happen. I'm part of a bee. The very shadow. I thought old E.G. knew as much. Honestly. I don't know what's going on anymore. My thanks 
friend. I'm going to see Mistress Rani now. I don't know what came over old E.G. But even if the odds are slim, I need to check that Mistress is safe. Now, Rani can finally set in motion the fight against her fate she's dreamt of for so long. I'm going to see Mistress Rani. I don't know what came over, even if the odds are slim. General Radan, unlocking the stars. The general was blighted by Scarlet Rot and driven to madness. But not long ago, he was hailed as the mightiest demigod of them all. There is no parallel to your achievement, nor to Lady Rani's acute judgment of character. Thanks to you, Lady Rani's fate once again stirs. And the path to Nokron has opened. Descend underground where the fallen star struck Limgrave and make it yours. The precious treasure of Nokron. I presume you've spoken with Blythe? Very well. There is something you should know. The two fingers gave Blythe to Lady Rani as a faithful follower. Her very shadow, incapable of treachery. But if Lady Rani, as an Empyrean, resists being an instrument of the Two Fingers, the shadow will go mad, transforming from a follower into a horrid curse. But such is his destiny. In such matters, Blythe's own thoughts hold no weight. It pains me so, but he must be neutralized for Lady Rani's sake. It was thee, not blithe it seemeth. Even in my slumber I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Ah, but before I leave, I shall entrust thee with this. My thanks for thy sterling efforts. A strange gift, perhaps. But a rare sort such as thee would welcome it, I'm sure. I am certain now. Fate steered us to our reunion. I must thank Torrent, too, for his part. You may leave now. It was but brief. But thou gavest me fine service. What is it? You may go. I too am to depart on a journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. What is it? I too am to...
So, a dogged fellow, aren't we? Or is it merely thy habit to talk to dolls? Fine. Fine. I hadn't expected any soul to recognize me in this guise. But now the cat is out the bag. I cannot allow thee thy freedoms. Perform for me a service as recompense. Eliminate the baleful shadows which prowl these lands. The name of Rani the Witch is already sullied by thee. I will not brook disobedience in this matter. Perform for me. Eliminate the name of Rani. I will not brook. Let us speak of the past a while. I was once an Empyrean, of the demigods. Only I, Mikola, and Melania could claim that title. Each of us was chosen by our own two fingers, as a candidate to succeed Queen Marika, to become the new god of the coming age, which is when I received Blythe, in the form of a vassal tailored for an Empyrean. But I would not acquiesce to the two fingers. I stole the rune of death, slew mine own Imperium flesh, casting it away. I would not be controlled by that thing. The two fingers and I have been cursing each other ever since, and the baleful shadows are their assassins. I turned my back on the two fingers, and we have each been cursing the other since. The baleful shadows are their assassins. I turned my back on the two the baleful Even when I turned my back live from me, <laughs> though he was created a vassal for an area, he was a colossal failure on the part of the two fingers, Blythe and E.G. both. Art willing to give too much to me, yet they both understand what lieth beyond the dark path, that I must betray everything and rid the world of what came before. Ah. Should I add thee to the list? Another one. Kind of heart. As kind of heart as they. Ah. This form hath loosened my tongue. I've let slip too much. Forget what thou's heard. Forget.
now I can finally stand before them. This is farewell, my dear. Tell Bly and E.G. I love them. <laughs> My sweetings, come out from whence ye hide. There are books and light aplenty, do they not? Come out, say I, or will ye be gravestones to be better born anew?
So, it was thee who would become my lord. Perhaps I needn't have warned thee. I am pleased, however. Thou art a fitting choice. I go now to the night sky. It is there I shall find mine order. I bid thee travel the path of the Lord. And once all is done, we shall see each other once more. Betray her. No matter what might happen, Riley, she needs me. Take it thou hast noticed. I shouldn't be surprised. I thought I might expound a little further upon the order I envision. 
Mine will be an order not of gold, but the stars and moon of the chill night. I would keep them far from the earth beneath our feet. As it is now, life and souls and order are bound tightly together. But I would have them at a great remove, and have the certainties of sight, emotion, faith, and touch all become impossibilities. Which is why I would abandon this soil with Thank mine order. Wouldst thou come to me even now, my one and only lord? Mine will be in order, and I would. Wouldst thou come to me even now? Thank you. 